vast industrial and economic potential as valuable sources for pharmaceuticals, health foods, carotenoids, dyes, fine chemicals, biofuels, and other applications. Industrial or even domestic processes produce huge amounts of waste water, and if untreated, it contains the following. The harmful effects of these pollutants can result to altered CNS function, damage to different organs, allergies, and cancer. Chlorella vulgaris is a unicellular algae able to grow in fresh water. In these past studies, it proved that chlorella can be used in copper detection, reduction of nitrogen and phosphorus, and removal of color and organics by animal metabolism. And now, in our time, we opted to contribute to the growth of this breakthrough in biotechnology. Ladies and gentlemen, in behalf of my colleagues in this study, I present to you the efficacy of Chlorella vulgaris in treating Baga City wastewater implications on public health. This study aims to um, answer the following question. How effective is Chlorella in treating wastewater? Does Chlorella eliminate or lessen pathogenic bacteria from water? And does chlorella eliminate or lessen heavy metal content of wastewater? For the researchers to obtain the answers to these questions, we formulated an experimental study working on wastewater aliquot collected from the plant in Sanitary Cat, Baggy City. One control FV trials were labeled. The control without the inoculate was tested for physical chemical properties, heavy metals, and as well as bacteriologic profile. Trials 1, 2, and 3 were individually inoculated with 180,000 cells per cubic millimeter of chlorella vulgaris, as pre-counted in the Neobauer hemocytometer. The trials were incubated in an outdoor environment for 14 days, after which the trials were tested once again for the same parameters. The tests were performed in DOSD CAR testing laboratory. The results are as follows. Chlorella has shown to decrease nitrate as much as 60% and turbidity as much as 53%, while it increased chloride to 8%, sulfate 79.71%, 79 and pH 20%, making it alkaline. Total coliform count remained unchanged, while fecal coliform count, which is the pathogenic one, was significantly reduced. Iron content was also reduced and removed. Cadmium, manganese, and lead were not found in the controlled and trial specimen. Now let me talk about the facts of these parameters. Nitrate is the most commonly found contaminant in groundwater aquifers. A lifetime exposure of nitrate about 10 mg per liter may cause decreased starchy deposits and hemorrhage of the spleen. This is also implicated in gastric and bladder cancer. Sulfate is also found in liberal amounts in wastewater. Its normal allowable amount is 200, 250 to 500 milligrams per liter. Excessive amounts may cause diarrhea. Chloride, on the other hand, is increased in amount in treated water. In wastewater treatment, the higher the amount of chloride, the more effectively it is treated. Turbidity reflects the amount of suspended matter and water. When it is decreased, the amount of these materials, which are potentially hazardous to health, also decreases. pH, on the other hand, reflects hydrogen ion content. If the water is acidic, it is corrosive and soft. When water is alkaline, water tends to be hard. However, alkaline water does not relate to any potential health risk. Let's delineate the difference between total and fecal coliforms. Total coliform bacteria are relatively harmless and it aids in digestion of food. Fecal coliform bacteria is different from total coliform group because they can grow at higher temperatures and are found only in the fecal waste of warm-blooded animals. E. coli is one of them. Iron does not cause severe effects in the human body. It causes corrosion of water pipes when present in high amounts in water. This corrosion will then pose an effect to health. I would also want to emphasize that, based on the standards of drinking water quality, the values obtained after treatment were actually safe enough not to cause any disease. So in, conclu in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, 
This study proves that chlorella vulgaris in treating, is effective in treating Bacchus City wastewater as it reduces specific amounts of nitrate and turbidity and increases water pH. Thank you very much and good day.